Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. <laughs> English is not our language in Africa. Go to that your America of yours. I suspect that you are a gay also. Go to that America of yours. Eh? Bring one Muzungu, one white man. Bring him to Zambia and tell him to speak Nyanja. If he speak Nyanja very well, like the way you speak English, then know that I'm a fool. How come when a white man speak Nyanja and he doesn't even speak well, we black people clap for him. But when a white, when a black person try to speak English, make a single mistake, a simple one, all of we will gather to crucify that person. Is it our language? <laughs> Your duty is to fight PF. <laughs> you see the difference between me and you. I don't fight people that are down. I fight people that are up because I am a Jagaban. I am done of power. I am always up for the challenge. I am always ready to fight. I can't fight a baby. PF is dead now. We brought PF down. I will be a fool to continue fighting them as for now. That is the difference between me and you. I'm not a coward. You are now licking the boot of the boot of um, you are now licking the boot of UPN, the party that you hated the most, the president that you hated the most. And uh, the other day I saw you at State House taking selfie with uh, HH. Did do you, do you want to sleep with him? HH is not a gay. The way you run around him, like the way you are running around Mao Samba, I was suspecting something. The way you run around Bowman Lusambo, that your big ass is not there for nothing. Something is wrong with you, I swear. If we investigate properly, eh, your wife is going to her at home. Because I've never seen your character does not show that you are you are a man. <laughs> You are not a man. <laughs> when Chela was uh, trending in Zambia, when he was arrested and released, you are the first person because you like attention. You started looking for him and you called him. Chela, Chela, my brother, come, I want to interview you. Interview you. Me, I told Chela, don't go. This man is a green snake in a green gr grass. At least my own is open. You take me for who I am. If you love me, it's good for you. If you hate me, you will choke. <laughs> it doesn't concern me. But this one pretends so much. Chela, don't go for the interview. Chela went for the interview. You used Chela. The first time you had over 5,000 to 6,000 views was the day you were interviewing Chela. And you were laughing like a woman. <laughs> What is going to happen in your life now that you're... I was watching, I was laughing. I said, Chela, I don't know who you are. You are, you are dealing with Eve. This one is Eve. She, she, she will give you fruit. You will eat. And she will show you pepper. And what? Now that you're... What is good? He put view and used Chela to arrange a lot of viewer, viewers. <laughs> The day Chela was convicted and sent to prison, he was the first person that ran to come and betray Chela. Uh -huh. I told you, this is Zambia, this type of character with in America. Ta! America kill you there. America did what? 
in America, this kind, you cannot abuse women. You cannot, you cannot do women like this. You cannot do women. Hey, women. I was laughing at you. I say, what did I tell you? This one you are dealing with. He calls me a false prophet. I agree. He calls me a criminal. Anything he calls me, I agree. And I'm not going to stop. But he's a coward. He's a woman in a man's body. If you want evidence, check his ass. Check his breast. You will see. I told him. He was the first person that betrayed Chela. He betrayed Chela. <laughs> Chela was put in prison. And he was celebrated. I went to my page and started fighting PF for jailing Chela. Between me and you now, who is to be trusted? You said my leg will never enter Zambia. That you have you have made report. You made report to your kitchen. Make report to your to your your wife. Don't even care about you because I don't think that a grown up woman can uh, entertain. A fellow woman just you know unless she she also has a problem <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, it's not going to enter someone is not going to enter Zambia <laughs> you can stop me from entering Zambia I don't understand though when you cannot control your family your own family you can control the whole of Zambia immigration. Eh? <laughs> so, I just wanted to address you, my brother. You say that I don't have influence. On this, uh, on this Facebook here, I sat and spoke about musicians. To Eddie Galungu, say he neglected the musicians majority of musicians that received empowerment received it because of me under the re regime of Eddie Galung Slap D, Makitu, Mampi even, even though that didn't su supposed to receive they receive because I spoke go and speak now give speak I want you to go live tomorrow and speak talk about government talk about let me see if they will listen to you you are nobody you are non entity we we are not equal you are you are uh, you are a baby you are a baby goat i am a lion i just want you to uh, stay on your lane stop talking about me stop saying see one is everything you say that i did even the one that you are going to say tomorrow i did and i will still do it again i'm not going to change but at the end of the day i am not a coward i am the dawn of power I supported a church from the bottom of my heart and told a church that he was going to be the president of Zambia. And I influenced a good number of the youths, a good number of women, a good number of men to vote for a church and they voted for him. You were influencing people to vote for ECL. Did the ECL win? Immediately he lost election, you turn against him. Today your mouth is full of notorious PF. Notorious PF. You no longer tell people that Edgar Lungu built bridges. He, he built hospital. You no longer tell people those nice things we are telling them during election. Can't you see those hospitals? You can't see those bridges? You don't tell them anymore. You have betrayed Eddie Galung. You want to come and betray a church. That will not happen. A church don't even care about you. And, and there is nobody in UPND that regard you as a, as a human. They, they only take you as a baby. <laughs> because you are a baby. 
a bouncing baby girl, not even a baby boy, because my boy Chibrego, who is only but three years old, if I ask him to go outside and they move around with camera and they start disturbing men and women that are passing that boy will say that they are not going to go so it's better than you it's, it's one is three years old but he's wiser than you it is you that leave your office you want to do the work of uh, the town council to go and fight with women because you don't have anything doing <laughs> anyway <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. so there is no hope for you in UPND that you must know we, are, we don't entertain uh, people, men with big ass in UPND UPND is an organized party we don't want to be confused when we see you coming from behind we think that the woman is coming we don't we want things to be and we don't entertain cowards we don't entertain already we have a lot of betrayers a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, green snake in green grass in UPND, and we are going to root them out so we don't want people like you sit down at your office and think about what you would do you are about to die because you are you are grown up you are look at your age you don't achieve anything i built a palace for my mother at your age old enough to be my grandfather you went around telling people that is a hotel that is not see a one's house that he just went to the hotel to do ceremony. I look at you, I say, what type of fool is this? I built a hotel. No, that's not his hotel. That hotel, it belonged to another person. I started the church within the within two weeks. No, that is church. There are, are less than 900 people. See, one cannot survive in Nigeria. Come to my church today. I am running the fastest growing ministry in the whole of Nigeria. My ministry is the single largest congregation here in Owere. And we are five months old. I am the dawn of power. I don't learn this thing. I conquered when I was in Zambia. I conquered when I was in South Africa. Why? What will stop me from conquering in Nigeria? All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.